Huh. Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I hadn't expected to run into you again. Yes, well, I had good reason to be distressed. You had already helped me establish that there is something unprecedented going on with this tree. Now my superiors have been made aware. There is growing concern. Oh my, a bit of an unintentional pun, isn't that? Well, concern that things are going to get worse. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, well, none of them are good. I am attempting to formulate one, yes. But until I have all of the relevant information, it is impossible to do so. There is data regarding other, younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring it. <clears throat> per per personnel issues, if you understand me. What? No, that is ridiculous. I am a professional. One of the other researchers in MAST, Emilio Hadek, has research I believe could be vital to my work here. He and I don't see eye to eye, and so far he's refused to turn it over to me. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. What do you say? He's held a grudge against me for years. It's petty, really. I'm sure he thinks that doing this now will hold back my career. He wouldn't listen when I tried to explain this isn't about me. There are bigger concerns. I suggested nothing of the sort. Although, now that I think about it, I confess, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Anyway, no, I just need his data. I am sure that can be acquired without force, or the threat of it. 90% sure. The last time I saw him, he was being assigned to sample collection out near the agricultural areas. I'm sure you'll find him there. I hope we're not too late to avoid disaster. That man is a disgrace to his profession. His theories are drivel, his methods are sloppy, and his conclusions are, at best, highly questionable. He is a very poor scientist. I saw fit to point this out when approached for his most recent personnel evaluation. He somehow got wind of it and has taken it very badly. For what? Doing my job? It's more than he can say. I most certainly will not apologize. Well, I'm afraid that's hard to say. Ultra-low frequency waves are a rare phenomenon. If they continue to increase, they might cause disturbances in the equilibrium of the city's residents. Headaches, nausea, that sort of thing. Eventually, the resulting vibrations could have effects not dissimilar to seismic activity. Nearby structures might be at risk. I really do hope we can find a solution soon. Huh. That man is a disgrace. He is a very poor sight. I saw fit to point this out when approached. Last year, he submitted a paper three months overdue. His thesis was that soil alkalinity may be responsible for difficulties in transplanting modified crop strains to several remote UC outposts. Three months overdue, and that was his conclusion. A second year academy student could have reached that in a quarter of the time. In fact, now that I think about it, the language of his paper was particularly sophomoric. Did he have a student write it for him? Perhaps I should file a report. I hope this isn't asking too much of you.
Wen really keeps the distribution center in tip top shape. Assignments they could have given me. <sighs> could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. Oh, it's important research. I won't bore you with the technical details, but it's critical that I get this done. Trees. Uh, I see what's going on here. You're working with Kelton, aren't you? Nice try, but it's not happening. No, no way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping him with anything. Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher ups. I'm not helping him with that. <laughs> right. Of course, we're all in danger. Trees are involved, after all. Uh, he really won't let this go, will he? Hmm. Maybe I can make this work in my favor. Okay, you know what? I'll hand over the data. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in MAST. Oh, don't worry. You're just going to erase some files for me. Make sure I look good next time promotions get passed around. Well, then I guess we don't have anything else to discuss, and Kelton can just forget about getting his hands on the data. See you around. Changed your mind, did you? Willing to help me get a promotion? Wait, really? Wow, okay. Okay. I've gotten a few bad performance evaluations in the last couple of years. Totally unjustified, incredibly unfair. I found a backdoor into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel file. But it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of... locked. Sorry, that's not on the table. There is, and I already explained exactly what it is. Advancing my career is the right thing to do, so that's what I'm focused on. I don't want to cause problems, really. Okay, look, look. Just hear me out, all right? I really need this to happen. If you do this for me, I can make it worth your while. You delete that data, I get promoted, I'm pulling in a bigger salary. I can compensate you. I'll throw in some extra credits for you, okay? A nice little bonus. But first, you need to get into the chief engineer's apartment. Fine, fine, you win. Just get out of my sight. And tell Kelton to stuff it. I tried to tell my colleagues that botany was important. I tried to warn them. I hope you have the data. It's really quite crucial. Yes, I'm sure I do. Especially since Emilio was involved. I'm sorry if this was complicated. 
I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details in the event that it comes up later, particularly in a legal setting. And I suppose I'd better verify the data to make sure Emilio didn't double-cross me. But you have once again come through for me. I'm truly hoping that this is the last piece I need to figure out what we can do. Clearly, I am doing all I can to avoid that. Thank you for your assistance. I couldn't have gotten this slate without your help. Thank you. 